Hey guys, imagine this situation where I want to show off in an infos my full name. I have my first name as a variable and my second name, my last name, as a variable as well. How do I join them? By using concatenation. Just with a space, I connect this string with this variable. Now, usually in other languages, what you will have to do is use some concatenation symbol like a plus in JavaScript and C sharp, uh, two dots in Lua, two, <laughs> like the literal or sign in SQL, still overly surprised about that. And in HK, it's actually the dot. However, you don't need to use it and it's not really recommended to do so because it works perfectly pretty much always without it. So in HK, it's pretty much just a space. And then we continue to add a space between the first name and last name, which is one thing that you can quite easily forget when concatenating strings and variables. And then last name. When we run this, we get my name is Alisa Odruzhova. However, when we look at this, we see that we have first a string, then a variable, then uh, another string, then another variable. So they go like from one to another, to another, to another. They're not a single thing. There are multiple things that are then joined into one thing. What if we instead could have everything as one thing? So everything in this single string. Well, in V1, we actually could do that by using percent sign. And this is called interpolation. The difference from concatenation is that in interpolation, you put your variables inside of the string. And with concatenation, you join variables and strings. So you could do first name, then a space, then last name. And that would work, but I'm using v2, so it doesn't anymore. So this is just for you to know uh, how interpolation usually works. And in most languages, it exists. In Python, it's f strings. In C sharp, you could put a dollar sign before the string, and then it works. And many other ways it can work. Well, what? Do we have to like cry because we don't have it? No, not really, because there is a way uh, to still have kinda interpolation. Functionally, it will be interpolation. It's by using the format function. So, first of all, we have my name is. Let's immediately specify the variables that we're going to be using in order. And now we just specify uh, curly brackets, for now they're empty. Let's try this, and yeah, indeed, we get my name is Alisa Odruzhova. So, when you don't put anything inside of these curly brackets, you just get the parameters that you set after. One day, one day I'm gonna learn these motions. Here we go, kinda. So, yeah. But what if you wanted to use the first one two times? Well, actually, you can just put numbers here to mean, uh, oh, I want this uh, parameter. So the first one that you put after the actual string. Uh, or you could just be explicit how I usually do and specify the parameters in order. And here you go, you get interpolation. <clears throat> Okay, so far we only de dealt with a single line string, but what if we want to have multiple lines in our string? Usually how you would approach it is, let's go, my name, my first name is then this symbol. We use this symbol to mean a new line in our hotkey. Uh, and then we continue on to say my last name is 
and so on. And imagine we would somehow put the variables in here. Well, this is kind of eh, because looking at this and editing this as a single line will get annoying very quickly. But there is a better way to have multiple lined strings. It's by using continuation sections. So, um, we need to, first of all, start off with an, uh, with an opening quote, then have these uh, brackets, and then the closing quote. And here you go. We can now remove this and put this on a separate line. This is called a continuation section. It's actually a very cool feature of AutoHotKey, but once again, AutoHotKey is not the smart one here because other languages also have it. But to AutoHotKey's, like, uh, okayness, not all of them do. I feel like I remember Python implementing this only recently, or was it C-sharp? Nevertheless, okay, how do we put variables here? If you look at concatenation and how it works, you can imagine that we would need to split the continuation section here and then some do some ridiculous magic. Well, let's just not even attempt to do that because it's incredibly annoying and instead use format again. Because would you look at that? We can do that. Great. And now we, as we just did before, specify empty curly brackets. Uh, and then first name, last name. Try to run this code and we get what we expected. Great. And the thing is, the fact that we're using a uh, format with a multi-line string in a continuation section in an infos function, like that doesn't matter. Any time that you need a multi-line string, you can use an, a continuation section. And if you need to use format, you can as well. There's, there are no restrictions, not like it only works somewhere, no. Any time that you need it, you can use it, which is incredible. Remember me mentioning that we could use percent signs in v1 to get interpolation? Well, we can still use percent signs, but for a completely different thing. If you're confused by how this works, you should watch my video on double derefing. And if you enjoyed this video, press a like, type some comment, maybe you have a question or a suggestion. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss my content, but most importantly, stay fresh, cheese bags, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!